Took you a while to find that red button. <laughs> You're like, I'm so hungry. <laughs> got it. So what do you want to talk about? Uh, how bad I feel. A scale of one to I'd rather die. How do you feel? Right now? Yeah. Pain levels out of five. You know what though? If you die right now, you look beautiful. Thank That's you. It's a good way to go out. Yeah. It's because he showered. It's important. Yeah. I'm called Keo. Let's talk about how great it is being married to me. Look at him holding that little baby. That's Carson. My nephew. His nephew, Vanessa's son. You can't really see it. But it's not focusing him well at all. It's because you're white. Oh, it's racist. <laughs> there it is. First try. Look, how cute. Him holding a little baby. I think you're going to be a good dad one day. We should talk about what's important to look for in a food place. <laughs> so we are at... Buffalo Wild Wings. B-dubs. What, what flavor That's did we cool have? That's how cool kids say it. B-dubs. What flavor did you have? Spicy you? garlic. That's the best. Oh, yeah. It's Bulmas. really good. Did we say Bulmas? Yeah. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, I think you did. We're hungry. We just got out of church, and we're just going to go home and eat. So hungry. Yeah. Same. So we're just sitting here in the car. It's kind of chilly outside today. This rain just making me very apathetic. It's just making tired. It's making me think about life and my feelings. I don't oh. like it. Got you. Got you reminiscing? Yeah. Dang. Oh. Wow, it's, <laughs> it's deep. I know. It is cool though, because I don't come from a place where it rains often, so Well, I think this rain rains. this rain is to make the weather cold. That's what happens. Right before it gets cold, these little rains happen. So the rain happens to make it cold? Yeah. It's like, hey, North Carolina, get ready for this. It's weather change. Now it's cold. It's just weather change. I'm excited for it to snow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not until January. Not until January? Mm hmm Or, like, December. But what if the world's over by then? Nah. Who knows? After this election, things are going to get real. So? No matter who wins. We're not talking politics on our vlog channel because we're not trying to lose subscribers. We're smart. So we're not going to talk about who we like. All I got to say is it's going to be a crazy election. No matter who wins, people are going to be upset. We're not going to give our opinions on who we're voting for or who we like. or That's not happening, so don't even try. I am going to vote for Jesus. He's the best. Yep. What did Trump say? That video? I wish we could insert the clip. Oh my gosh. He was like, he's like, someone asked me today. If I was the most famous person on no, earth. they told me I'm the most famous person. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, they told me I'm the most famous person on earth. I said, no, I'm not. No. Nope. No, I'm not. Nope. It's Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I'm a close second. And then he looks around to see people's approval in their faces. He's like, did they like this? Then maybe I can pull it up real quick and I'll show people. Because it was hilarious. Oh, yeah. What was he saying in Spanish? Oh. Um, what was he saying? Something about his wife. I'm pull this up for you guys, it's hilarious. I just have one thing to say. <laughs> I just have one thing to say. It looks so bad because of the rain. Oh my god. <laughs> What's he saying in Spanish? Someone bite looks over and smile. I just, I just don't know what to do with her. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my wife. It's a little Mexican song. I don't know. It makes sense. Yeah, Instagram is has a ton of like funny things. Yo, them. Kendall's watching my dad. Oh yeah, on shout TV. Out to shout out Kendall watching my dad right now. Wow, there's no other person I'd rather listen to about my number one favorite topic. By the way, guys, that's amazing. Kendall's located in Texas. If you need a wedding photographer, she's the best. I will link her website. I actually have it saved on my phone. I'm going to link her website on the description. She was going to do our wedding for free, our photography. But since we kind of like eloped, 
and we didn't want to fly her in she's pregnant and all that i felt bad um i just paid for a photographer but she was so kind and willing to do it for free so shout out to kendall we'll put her website under the description for you guys because she's awesome she's about to have a baby so yeah shout out to kendall yeah you got this girl She's like really pregnant right now, right? Yeah. How many, like eight she's months? She's having her baby December 7th. Okay, so she's about seven months. Eh, seven and a half, mm -hmm. three quarters. Yeah, seven, three quarters. December. I don't know. That song's like, I don't know the words, but. That was good stuff. You get like, I don't get hurricanes out here, right? But you get tornadoes. Well, hurricanes kind of, like, come here, but by the time they get here, it's like a Category 1. You don't get tornadoes here? Oh, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Like, real tornadoes? I've like... never seen it, yeah. We had fire tornadoes in California. Remember when I was sending you those videos? That's scary. That was crazy. I've never seen that before. Well, you get, like, small earthquakes here, huh? Mm. Yeah, remember when I... Yeah, it was like a 4.0. Remember when I flew in, there was a hurricane, and then when I flew out, there was an earthquake? First time I came out here to see you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I came in, there's a hurricane, you were all panicking. Yeah. And then I left and there was an earthquake the same day. So when we were dating... What are you doing with your hair? I don't know, I was trying to do like a new <laughs> style. So when we were dating, I thought we weren't going to be able to meet because there was a hurricane already passing and I thought the airport would um, cancel flights. I think it was a pretty bad one too, right? Yeah, it was a big, it was a big one. Was that the one where three smaller hurricanes joined forces into one big hurricane? Or was mm. that later? No. I think that was the one that hit Texas that my sister was talking about. Yeah, but I thought we weren't going to meet. He already had bought his ticket. I was all excited and everything was just like up in the air and I was so sad. But nothing were, stopped us. The day before you were so in your feels. I was sad. You were like, you're not going to be able to come out. I was so like... I was Devastated. Like, I'm definitely coming out still. Like, there's no chance. Yeah. Not even a hurricane can keep me from her love. Aww. She's so cute. Yeah, he made it. I was excited. He spent four days here. Five. Was it five? No. I think it was five. Four. Was it? Four, but we made the most out of it. Like, we were four? together all the time. Yeah, it was four days. Hmm. It was four. He was going to come for two days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but then, Saturday. No, Tuesday. Oh, I got there Tuesday night. So I was there for four full days. Four days? Yeah. But I was there like Tuesday night and then Sunday morning mm -hmm. as well. So like a little bit extra. Yeah. Yeah. And on the second day, he proposed. That happened. Can't believe it. I was like, you're lying. We'll post a video sometime. I have a video of it. I didn't really like it, the video, because I was just sitting on the couch. The last thing I thought he was going to propose to me at that moment, because how did he do it? Okay, so he put his camera by the TV and his phone or... His, well, okay. His phone Here's... is black. The TV is black. So he put it on the living room TV and I'm just sitting on the couch, just relaxing. I had to close your eyes first so she didn't know I set it up. I was like, hey, close your eyes. I have a birthday present for you. He's like, I got you some coffee mugs. I didn't say that. I knew they were. I didn't say I got you some coffee mugs. I, I played it off. Remember the side? Let me tell the story. I have a birthday gift. Let me tell the story. I forgot. <laughs> Her birthday was like a week before. So I said, hey, why don't you go sit on the couch real quick? First of all, I knew I was going to propose that day and I couldn't relax. And she knew something was off because I was acting weird. And she kept asking me like, when are you going to propose? When are you going to propose? Like not knowing that I was going to propose that week. She was just kind of asking in general, kind of messing with me. Yeah, in life, like. Yeah, but I couldn't relax because I knew I was going to propose. So she's like, I'm going to go make us lunch or breakfast. And I was like, okay, cool. And so she goes and starts making food. And I'm pacing back and forth in the bedroom like, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? And with COVID, everything's closed. And we always talked about if I was proposing, doing something more intimate because we both don't like being in public and being the center of attention. So I was like, hey, you know what? I totally forgot. Let me give you your birthday present. I haven't done that yet. But he had mentioned something about mugs. I had an idea it was a mug. Yeah, like weeks before. So I was like, oh, okay, he's gonna give me a mug. Let me close my eyes. Yeah. So I had her sit on the couch. I was like, hey, close your eyes. And then I went and grabbed the coffee mugs. 
I put them on the table, had her open her eyes, and she was like, oh my gosh, best present ever. And because I was like, it was I know. a little ninja that looked like him. Yeah. And then he gave me another mug that said, dogs are like potato chips. You can't just have one. And it's so true. Yeah. Because I have three dogs. Who yeah. does that? And who only has one potato chip? Who does that? So. I was like, oh, hey, I actually got like one more present for you. I was like, I almost forgot. I didn't almost forget. I was like, close your eyes again one more time. So this time I went and grabbed the ring and I was hiding the ring in my hand and then I set up my phone by the TV so I could record her. I and didn't so know. I got down on one knee and I was like, Poof. But he said some beautiful words. I did say some beautiful words and she ignored but all of it. I just couldn't believe he was proposing. I thought he was yeah. lying. So I thought it was fake. <laughs> Like, in the middle of me talking, declaring my love for her, she's like, no. You are lying. No, you're lying. This and, isn't real. And then I just kept repeating over and over, you're lying. And then crying. Yeah, I was really, like, shocked. I got teary-eyed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just remember that. I got a little teary-eyed and emotional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really sweet. Yeah. I did not expect to be engaged that quickly. Like, he's insane. I know. I like this is happening. You have no choice. <laughs> On our second day yeah. of seeing each other face to face, he proposed to me. When you know, you know. And then. But we, okay. It wasn't like. No, but we talked about it a little bit. But I yeah. didn't think it was going to be that soon. I thought we were just like talking. We were cute. talking for a long time before every day. Uh, for hours for hours and we would face well we only faced time once a couple times yeah. because you couldn't handle it he would give me a look like <laughs> it was like, not like that oh my goodness it was like no no nah, he would was, give me a look you it know wasn't what like it is a, ladies it wasn't like he was like this no it was not like that you're making it seem like i was like you pervert weird no oh my god <laughs> It was like an I love you look. It wasn't like a hey girl yeah. look. It was like a sincere, just like overly. Yeah, he was in love. Yeah, I was just like, was like overwhelmed with like love and joy for this woman I was looking at. It wasn't like a hey girl kind of look like you're making out the scene at all. But yeah, yeah I would get nervous FaceTiming with him. So she we would, would get just, I cute. would. I'd get so shy. I'd be like, hi. She'd hide. Hi. She'd literally take her blanket and she'd hide and like cover her face like this and she'd talk to me oh yeah and i'd be like, like what are you doing you're like hiding i'd be like, I was like she's Hi. so cute yeah he would make me nervous look at him nah you'd make me nervous <laughs> he's so cute i still have like never been more nervous when i first opened the door and saw you that first like hour we hung out he was a nervous wreck when he came in yeah it was bad I gave him a hug because we were already boyfriend and girlfriend. So I'm like, I got to hug my boyfriend. And then we sat on this little living room couch in our um, place. And then he was just like so nervous sitting on the corner of the couch, like so far away from me. Like, was I? Oh, yeah. It was all blur. I blacked out. He like There was like, you can fit two people in between us. So then I scooted over and I was like, hi. I was like, <laughs> Hi, hello. He was so nervous. It was so cute. <laughs> I broke the ice. Yeah, she killed it. Because he, if he would have taken the lead, we would have been like high-fiving each other the whole time. That never happened. I never once high-fived you. That's super lame. <laughs> I would have never high-fived my girlfriend. That's just weird. I'm like, hey, pal. Yeah. Hi, baby. My little buddy. Yeah, that would have never happened. But yeah, that... That was like nerve wracking and then proposing to you was super nerve wracking and then our wedding day was really nerve wracking <laughs> waiting for you babe actually it wasn't really waiting for you once i saw you i was calm it was when i was getting ready in the room yeah that i was like pacing back and forth i put on the rocky theme song the eye of the tiger theme song and i'm like dun, 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 in the room no you didn't yeah ask my dad wow I was like he was jumping up pumped. and down. Da -da. Babe, tell them about how people walked out with me. Our wedding was so not rehearsed. It was like... Have you ever seen like a boxing fight or like a UFC fight when the fighter walks out 
and their whole team walks out behind them and they're all like this. That's I how it was. I had people walking behind me. Everyone's like, okay, the bride's about to come. Everybody go outside and like get in your positions. And it was me and my father that was outside. Everybody else followed her outside. So she comes out the door and then it's just like this mob of people <laughs> right behind her. I was like. And you know what? I didn't even notice anyone. No, because we locked eyes and that was it. Because I was so focused on him and I was so nervous. Yeah. And then once I reached the little entry, the door. I should probably go grab our food. And I saw him. I was like, and then I just saw him laughing and smiling. I was like, everybody just faded away. Yeah. It was awesome. But yeah, yeah I heard of people like my mom was coaching me. <laughs> She's like, walk straight. <laughs> walk straight. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> when you lent your head on me, she's like, no. Get off of him. During our wedding ceremony while his dad was talking, I, I did this. And your mom yelled at you. She's like, Yesenia, stand up straight. I'm like, I had to edit it out because I got so angry. I went. <laughs> we had such an interesting service. Everybody was talking. My best Phones friend. Phones were like, click, click. My, yeah, my dad was snapping pictures. Mind you, we had a professional photographer. Classic. But no, my dad had to take photos on his old school phone. It was so loud. And then my mom is yelling, stand up straight. It was funny. His friend is all covered in tattoos. <laughs> my parents are like, okay, those are his friends. Like face tattoos and like full blasted. My neck. best friend, she's a little, you know, out there. My maid of honor, she's like talking the whole service. She That's was... right, Pastor. You tell him. I was like, she was wild. I was. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah, that was a little bit of our wedding. I don't even know how we started talking about this. <laughs> oh I don't know. Gosh. I should have grabbed the food though. Yeah. Because I don't want cold chicken wings. All right, baby, go get it. You need the umbrella? Right. No, you're good. Nah, it's just water. Babe, try one of the fries. Make sure it's not like soggy. Good, Last time babe. they gave us soggy fries. Like, try one, babe. You better open it and... Mm. <laughs> I feel bad for him. <laughs> Poor guy. He has no idea <laughs> what he got himself into. He's the best husband, though. Best husband. He, like, really loves me. And he doesn't just say it, he shows it. Like, I know a lot of women love to hear they're loved. I love you, I love you, but i rather action. And he definitely shows me he loves me because he just does things to help me and he's so supportive. So, like, he helps me around the house. Like, I'll do laundry and then he'll take out the stuff from the dryer and, like, put it on the bed and he'll fold my laundry and his it's just so cool. And then, like, if I'm making breakfast, he'll clean the pots and pans after. And he fixed the washer. He helps me with the dogs. Like, he'll take the dogs for a walk. He'll feed the German Shepherd. Like, he's just honestly the best husband ever. So, ladies out there, if you're praying for a godly man, continue praying. Have faith. The Bible says, seek the kingdom of God first and everything else will be added on to you. And that is so true because the last thing I was looking for was a husband, but I was seeking the Lord. I was reading my Bible. I was watching church services. I was just spending time in prayer. And I said, one month before meeting my husband, I said, Lord, if you think it's best for me to have a husband, I am willing and open to it. And right then I met Taylor on YouTube, like through his sister-in-law. So it's amazing how God works. So don't give up hope. Even when it seems impossible meeting somebody, don't think it's impossible. Because he was in Cali, okay, one side of the U.S. And I'm on the opposite of U.S., North Carolina. We didn't know each other. And God allowed YouTube and his sister-in-law to bring us together. So when things seem impossible in life, keep having faith keep walking by faith god does answer your prayers he just doesn't answer it in your time it's in his time so that's what i learned he's molding you into someone who you need to be for your significant other and vice versa he's molding your partner too so trust the process have faith in the lord and yeah <laughs>